Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be taking a look at an ESPN Plus article where an NFL exec prediction. So this is an article written by Jeremy Fowler from ESPN Plus, destinations for Russ Baker and Kirk Cousins. And Jeremy Fowler is super locked in. I mean, he absolutely is. Um, he is one of the most locked in guys at ESPN. And this is an excellent article where he talked to a lot of NFL executives and got their thoughts and opinions as to what the heck is going on around the league. And I'm going to take a look at a couple of these, obviously the one regarding Baker Mayfield and a couple that are also regarding other teams around the NFC South as well. So uh, I'm not going to show you guys the entirety of the article because I don't think that'd be very fair to Jeremy Fowler. Go get ESPN Plus and check out the article if you guys want. But the first one that's interesting here is that the NFL executive believes that Baker Mayfield or that NFL executives believe that Baker Mayfield will re-sign with the Bucks. And what's such an interesting quote here is you take a look. I'm not sure it makes sense to go after someone like Russell Wilson or Justin Fields when I'm not sure that's a substantial upgrade, which is very interesting to me because people have talked about the idea of adding Russell Wilson because of the connection to Dave Canales. I have also thought about the idea of Justin Fields as a 24 year old. He could have potentially he could be potentially an option for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I want to say. But it seems like this NFC personnel evaluator said, not sure those are substantial upgrades. And you know what? I agree with him. I don't necessarily know if Russell Wilson or Justin Fields is a substantial upgrade. I feel like they are either a bit of a downgrade or at this point, a lateral move, if anything. You take a look here. Mayfield isn't perfect, but you can win games with him. That's the truth. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers went 9-8 and this year and even got a playoff win also. He's streaky, but when he gets hot, he can produce like a top 10 guy. I also feel like that is pretty accurate. I would maybe say like top 12, but it seems like this NFC personnel evaluator, which he would know, NFC, he got to see Baker Mayfield a lot, I'm sure. We don't know what team he specifically evaluates on. But to say Russell Wilson or Justin Fields is not a substantial upgrade, I do agree with that. I think that is a very fair take and opinion. To also say that, hey, when, Maker, when Baker Mayfield is on, he can play some really good football. I agree with that as well. There have been some times where there is a bit of a lull in Mayfield's play, but even when there is a bit of a lull in his play, the Buccaneers still showcase that they can win some football games. So the highs of Baker Mayfield are pretty darn high and are really good. The Jacksonville game, the Packers game, in my opinion, the two playoff games, minus the game ceiling interception against the Lions. But... We've seen a really, really good Baker Mayfield. If you can get more consistently consistency like that, depending on the offensive system, sign me up, man. And I feel like we saw more good than bad with Mayfield this year. And I've not been shy about my opinion. Sign me up. I agree. Whenever Baker Mayfield re-signs with the Bucks, Again, it looks here. Baker Mayfield was a bridge quarterback journeyman guy. Now it looks like he has flipped the script and may be the guy for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. One other thing that I thought was really interesting here, by the way, Chargers hired Jim Harbaugh. This is, you know, this is probably going to be uploaded later on down the way, but pretty cool, I suppose, for the Chargers. Kirk Cousins and Bill Belichick will be Falcons and win the NFC South. What? That's kind of wild. This came from out of nowhere, in my opinion. The feeling out of New England was that Belichick planned to target an established veteran quarterback for the Patriots in 2024. If he gets the Atlanta job, at some, as some expect, he can follow a similar blueprint. Now, Bill Belichick has had two interviews with the Atlanta Falcons so far up to this point, but it does talk about here Kirk Cousins may very well re-sign with Minnesota. In my opinion, I feel like the Vikings should 100% uh, re-sign him. You take a look here. Let me see if this AFC executive said here, Belichick can help a talented yet underachieving team in Atlanta. Is that an AFC executive said Cousins would be a great fit there. Now, that isn't necessarily saying Kirk Cousins and Bill Belichick are going to go to the Falcons and win the NFC South. If that was the case and Kirk Cousins and Bill Belichick did go to the NFC South, it'd be a pretty tough competition for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I feel like and we can talk about this if Belichick does end up going to the Falcons, but Bill Belichick going to the Falcons would be very good for their defense. I don't know if it matters on offense as much if you don't get a quarterback. That is why to say, like, hey, Kirk Cousins could go there. There's a few different guys who could go there. Some people have said Baker Mayfield. I don't know. I think very much like in the case of, of Kirk Cousins, I think he goes back to Tampa Bay. Kirk Cousins goes back to Minnesota, but 
you know, if, if the Falcons can get an interesting quarterback, a guy that if Josh McDaniels goes to Atlanta as well can work with, you know, that could be some very interesting competition. And it really could be a two team race for the foreseeable future between the Bucks and the Falcons regarding the NFC South. I mean, I understand. And, and also that it would depend on this. I still think Bill Belichick is a great coach. I don't trust him as a team builder. That is why I did not want to see him on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers whenever we were discussing that a time or two ago. That is where I don't trust Bill Belichick. So if he goes to Atlanta and they give him general manager, you know, types of, of powers, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, that would be a, ooh, let's see what happens type of move because that would be very interesting for the Falcons. But I wouldn't necessarily say it's going to be an automatic slam dunk for the Falcons. I would say that if it's a situation where there's a general manager in place who's going to get say on the roster moves and Bill Belichick's just going to coach the best out of the guys that he gets, that's where you get a situation of, ooh, this team might be pretty dangerous. Maybe both those teams make the playoffs. I don't know, but that is where you get into a situation of, oh man, oh man, Falcons look a little bit dangerous here. If they can get Bill Belichick and then bring in a veteran quarterback, maybe not like Kirk Cousins, but somebody else that's going to be out there in the open market. Maybe it's Russell Wilson. Maybe it's a Justin Fields. I don't know. We, we had talked about those for, for Baker Mayfield. Then that's where you go, ooh, maybe the Falcons have something here because I still think Belichick's a great coach, not great at team building. So we'll see how that situation goes. But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about what these executives said about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and about the Atlanta Falcons. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now. And go Bucks.